Hello. Hello. Hi, Doyun. Can you hear me? Hi. Hmm? Can oh, you hear me? Yes. Okay. That's great. Hello. Good evening, Doyun. How are you? Um, okay. Okay. What did you do today? Hmm? What did you do today? I went to school. You went to school? Yeah. Ah, okay. And how was school today? Um, bad. Bad? Bad. Why? Mm, it was so so day. Huh? It is Monday. Oh, okay. And it's it was Monday. bad. It was yes. bad. Why is it bad? Yes. Why do you think it's today is Monday? <laughs> okay. It when it's Monday it's bad? You don't like yes. Mondays? Monday is bad. Mondays and hmm. yes. Huh? <laughs> huh? Yes. What do you mean Mondays and? Uh, Monday is bad. Oh. You don't like Mondays. Okay. Yeah. I see. So do you have homeworks? Mm, I always have homework. You always have homework. Are you making a homework right now? No. Mm -hmm. Are you playing a game mm -hmm. instead? What? Are you playing a game or doing a homework right now? What game? Uh huh? Hmm? Are you playing game? Are you playing video game right now or doing mm -hmm. your homework? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, Doyun. So let's continue our lesson for tonight. We have um, yeah. the conversation for unit, I think we're done with unit two. Unit three, too warm in Alaska. Are you ready? No. No? Oh, no. You're not ready? I'm not ready. Okay. Just tell me when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Are you ready or no? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready. Okay. Okay. You read the male part and I will be reading the W. Wow. Did you hear the Alaska is Melting. Melting? How can an entire state melt? That's impossible. Well, maybe not the entire state, but Alaska does have about 100,000 glaciers. 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 Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of glaciers. Uh, are they all melting? Uh, well, most of them are either melting or are stagnant because the temperatures are rising. That must be causing a lot of problems. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, warm water means fewer cold, fewer cold water fish, which means less food for some Alaskan animals like polar bears. Well, I'm glad I don't live in Alaska. I like it here in the south where it is nice and warm. Okay. Thank you very much, Doyun. Now, do you mm -hmm. like um a cold area like Alaska or do you prefer like in the south when it where it's nice and warm? Uh, I like sunny. You like sunny, warm place? 
Yes, swarm play. You like warm, warm place? Have you ever been to Alaska? No. No? No. Where's the place you've been to that so far has been very, very cold? Uh, a mountain. Yeah, a mountain. Only in Korea? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. I see. Okay, let's proceed to unit four. Working on your workout. Workout. The goal. Okay. Oh. Start. The goal. Mm -hmm. Um, going to the gym to work out. Do you want to come? Uh, no thanks. I went yesterday. I need to reset to rest today. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Rest. Why? I go to the gym every day. My goal is to achieve bigger muscles by the end of the summer. If that's your goal, don't go to gym every day. Didn't you know that your muscles don't grow? During exercise? Uh, really? What do you mean? Um, your muscles grow during rest because they need time to repair. Your muscles grow after they repair. Mm -hmm. So our bodies get stronger while we rest? Exactly. Um, I think I'll go to the gym tomorrow instead. Okay, well done. Yes. Do you like exercise, do you? Do you like to exercise? Mm, not very much. Not very much. Okay. So, have you ever been to a gym before? Some people likes mm -hmm. to go to the gym. gym. I don't. You don't? Mm hmm have you ever tried? Never. Uh, no. Nope. Okay, I see. Very well. Let's proceed to Unit 5 Smart Exercise. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Lately, I've been so forgetful. I can't seem to remember anything. Maybe you should walk to school by a different street. That might jumpstart your brain. Oh, uh, why would taking different streets to school help my memory? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes doing regular exercise or regular activities in a slightly different way can help reactivate old memory. Uh, old memory pathways in our brain, or even build new ones. Oh, yeah. I have heard that exposure to new sights, sounds, and smells can help stimulate the brain. Right. So you could even put some herbs and spices next to your bed so you wake up to a different smell each morning. Oh, Do you really think doing these things can increase my memory? Not just your memory, but your ability to learn things too. Give it a try. Okay, so that is about smart exercise memory. So what do you do, do you want to uh, keep your memory sharp? Well, uh, hmm. My memory is not bad. It's not that bad? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So it's it's really good to always sharpen your memory, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. That's great. Um, let's proceed to unit six. This is rescuing relics. The Lee's Museum. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Lee's I Museum. think... Okay, yeah. 
I think it would be interesting to visit the museum that Song Tang Li set up. Uh, I don't know. If I traveled all the way to Beijing, I think I'd rather spend my time in one of the National Museums. Uh, but those national museums are so big. There is just too much to see in those big museums. I'd rather visit smaller museum and take more time to look at fewer works. I guess that could be one good thing about visiting a smaller museum. I wonder if Mr. Lee has information about the pieces written on science for people to read. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. The oh, I'm not sure the information I read said that he has something or uh, someone working there to help him out. You know, Mr. Lee has another regular job. Oh, you mean his museum doesn't take up all of his time? Mm -hmm. Um, I guess not. He also manages a place that helps care for elderly people. Oh. Okay, very good. So, museums. Do you like going to museums, do you? No, it's bad. No? No. Have you ever been to a museum in Korea? Like, even Sometimes, for once? yes. Sometimes. Okay, that's nice. Now, let's proceed to Unit 7. This is tweet, uh, Tween Bots. Yes. Did you know that there are small robots that help people? Uh, really? What do they do? These robots mostly help out around someone's house if they need it. Mm. Do you mean elder? Elderly people who can't do a lot of things on their own anymore, such as cleaning and keeping the house in order. Right. Uh, wow, I want to have a small robot that I wouldn't have to do the dishes anymore. Hmm. Well, uh, well, I think you still have to do the dishes, but maybe you wouldn't have to make the bed. That sounds good to me. Okay, mm -hmm. tween, tween bots, robots that help. Do you have robots at home that helps you with the cleaning? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have robots at home that helps you out with cleaning? No. No? Do you no. have dishwasher, vacuum that moves around alone? Uh, Nothing? No. no? Oh, okay. I see. Thank you, Doyun. Let's proceed to Unit 8, Back to the Future, Skating in the Park. Ready? Okay. Okay. Hi, Mark. Uh, hey, Tracy. Tracy. Hey, Tracy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you had the nice skates. Um, mm, uh, I just got them. They were on sale for fifty dollars. Uh, how do you like them? Um, mm, they're okay. I'm still getting used to them. It took me a couple of moments to become comfortable with mine. Now I'm playing in roller hockey league. Mm, okay. Sorry, where are you now? Comfortable. Oh, hockey league. Hockey league. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just skate with friends on weekends. Want to come with us sometime? Oh. Uh, uh, want to come page? with us sometime? This one. Oh, sure. How about next Saturday? That sounds uh, good. Let's meet here at 2 o'clock. 
Okay. See you next. See you Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go to Unit 9, a better robot. Okay. Mr. Yim's idea. Where did the idea for snake balls come from? Mm. Um, the main idea probably came from Mark Yim of uh, Xerox. Oh, okay. What did he do? Uh, Mark Yim designed a new kind of robot called a uh, polybot. Hmm. A polybot. Is that like a snake bot? Mm, well, a polybot is made of many small robots. It can look like a snake, a spider, or a wheel. Each shape is different kind of task or project. So a snake bot is a kind of simple polybot. Mm -hmm. Yes, you could say that. Okay. Have you ever seen a polybot before, Doyun? No. No? Are there any kinds of like robot presentation in your school? No. Nothing? Nothing. Mm. Okay, I see. Very well, let's go to unit 10, flower power. My neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that Operation Flower works so well in Saginami. Why are you so surprised? It seems logical to me that if people are outdoors all the time, things won't have as many opportunities to get into houses and steal things. The thing I can't believe is that planting flowers would actually make people spend so much time outdoors. There are lots of trees and flowers planted around houses in my neighborhood, but I rarely see people outdoors taking care of them. Uh, how do the plants grow if nobody takes care of them? Mm, people do come out on a weekend to take care of the plants. They just don't come out every day during the week. Mm, were there many incidents of break-ins where you live? Break-ins where you live? No, I've never heard of thieves breaking into any houses where I live. Mm, then maybe it's not for people just to come out on the weekends. Okay, well done. Thank you, Doyun. So are break-ins common in your neighborhood, Doyun? Mm, no. Have you ever heard of any break-in news in, in your area, in your city, in your town? No. Oh, so you live in a very safe area. Mm, yes. It's 10th floor. Okay. Oh, you're on the 10th floor? Yes. Ah, you live in a condo apartment. Oh, yes. Okay, I see. So it's like your place, you pay for it every month? Or you own it? Uh, I don't know. Ah, oh, you don't know. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Very well, let's go to Unit 11, a controversial restoration for its protection. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, guess what I saw um, during my trip to Paris last month? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm W. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're M. Sorry, oh. sorry. Okay. Yes, what I saw during my trip to Paris last month. 
I bet you saw the Eiffel Tower. Oh, of course I saw that, but I also saw the Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. The real one? The Vinci's Mona Lisa? That's the one. I saw it at the lover. They keep it behind bulletproof glass. Mm -hmm. Are they afraid something is going to shoot it? Uh, no, but mm -hmm. you know something. Someone threw acid on the painting once. It took the museum years to restore it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess she's safe now. Oh. Let's have Unit 12, The Flood. Recalling details. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, I heard the story of Noah and the flood when I was a child. Me too. Do you remember the whole story? I remember that he put two of every animal on his boat. Mm. Do you remember how long it rained? I think it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Okay, right. Then what happened? Noah sent a dove and the dove brought... Dove? Dove. 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 Noah okay. sent out a dove? And the dove brought the branch from a tree back to him. Mm -hmm. Right, so that was how no one knew there was dry land somewhere. I think there was also something about a rainbow in the story. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, uh, the rainbow meant that there would never be a flood like that again. Well done. Let's go to Unit 13, Naturally Better Homes. Lots of advantages. Okay. What are you going to do this summer? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to Bolivia to build earth ships. I've heard of them. They are supposed to be good for the environment, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's right. But they are also good um, for places that you don't have any services like water and electricity. Yeah, I suppose they would be. Mm, okay. Another reason why there are uh, a great idea in some areas is that they are earthquake resistant. Really? Even earthquakes don't destroy them? Um, that's right. They're fireproof, too. Okay, oh. well done. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Doyun. Um, earthquake. Have you experienced earthquake be before? Uh, mm, I think, yes. Yes? Mm-hmm. Oh, how was how was the experience? Uh, when I was sleeping. Oh, you were sleeping when it happened. And I felt something shaking. Shaking, and then what did you do? Did it wake and you I up? I woke up. Oh, you woke up. And you run outside. No. You just stayed just a in your... little shaking. Ah, just a little shaking. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. So I think um, 
big earthquakes usually happen in Japan if you know that if you've heard the news so it really like causes a lot of damage um any earthquakes that happened in Korea that caused a lot of big damage big damage mm -hmm. uh, never yes there are yes oh okay I see Thank you, Doyun. Let's proceed to Unit 14, Eat Better, Look Better. So what's that for? Uh, what are you doing with the stocking? Um, I'm using it to make seaweed bag for my bath. What? See that dried seaweed on the table? I'm going to put it in the stocking and then tie the stocking closed. Then I'll put it in my bath. It's great for my skin. Oh. Where is it? I've heard. Uh, I heard seaweed is good for your skin. But shouldn't you just eat it? Uh, I do that too. Seaweed has lots of good vitamins and nutrients in it. Hmm. Can you make an extra stocking for me? I like to take a seaweed bath too. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Doyun. Seaweed. I think seaweed is common in Korea, right? Hmm? I think seaweeds are common in Korea. Yes. Common. Do you do you eat um seaweeds? Um, yes. Often. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Um often like the dried ones. You have dried uh, seaweeds, right? Dried, no. Yes. It's like like the like a wrapper or something. Yes, yes. Okay, very well. Let's have unit 15. Imagine that a great idea. Do you have any of those little yellow sticky notes? I ran out of, I ran out and I need some more. Uh, sure, I have some extra ones in my backpack. I always carry some with me because they're so useful. Okay. Uh, they certainly are. The person who invited these things must have been a genius. Uh, actually, I read about the guy. He came up with the idea for sticky notes like these when he was daydreaming. Okay. No kidding. Was he daydreaming at his desk at work? Work? No, he was daydreaming at church. He had the habit of putting a little pieces of paper in his for book, but the pieces of paper sometimes fell out. I guess one day at church. The speaker wasn't that interesting. So he started daydreaming about a way to solve the problem of losing those little bits of paper. That's when he came up with the idea of these little yellow sticky notes. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Do Yoon. And do you have any question? No. No question? Okay. Mm. If not, I guess that is all for our class tonight. Um, mm. Next time or next class tomorrow, we're going to have another book. Okay? Okay. Yes. For now, thank you very much, Doyun. Enjoy the rest of your evening and good night. Good luck with your school tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.